They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Today's players from Spain wearing the brutal blue. It's Anna, the squirrel, Corradeja. From Germany in the rambling red, it's Martina, Spady, Shears. And from Georgia, playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States in the predatory purple, it's Kostya, the roadrunner, Kivla. Winning a world championship, every kid dreams about it, but today only one will go home with a glowing piece of our radical rock. Hello everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. We're going to get to our world championship games in just a moment, but right now we're going to go to our referee, Maura Quirk for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo! Hello, Mike. Here's a look at the standings. All three of today's teams need a win to stay in contention for the world title. A win today by Germany puts them only one gold away from a third-place tie. Back to you, Mike. And we'll get underway with our first event, finding out which kid has the highest vertical leap. We're going to set our players over the top. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give our kids some ballistic bungee. They're going to be setting soaring right over this high jump bar. They're going to knock over some heights even Olympic high jumpers can't hit. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will have three jumps to try and clear heights of 2.5, 2.75, and 3 meters. Only their best jump counts, and the highest overall jump wins. On your mark, get set. Up first is the squirrel, and this is a flying squirrel. Squirreling right over. That far. Let's go with a mile for the result. On a clear 2.5, 2.75 meters is next. On your mark, get set. Timing, tuck, and propulsion. Personal propulsion. Oh, knocking the bar over. Let's go to Mo. Anna's getting up. We're ready for our third jump. On your mark, get set. All right, concentration, trying to hit 2.75 meters up and oh, just the tip top of her toes knocking the bar off. Let's go to Mo and get her official result. Honors, highest jump was 2.5 meters, Mike. The squirrel with 2.5 will be the jump to beat. On your mark, get set. This is Martina, her nickname is Speedy. Let's see if Speedy can jump and oh, Frustrated after knocking the bar down, but she will get two more tries at least. Mo. On your mark, get set. All right. Concentrate. She's got to pull her legs back up and over, and oh, she came underneath that time. She She's very frustrated, as you can see, because she had jumped a little bit too far out on the aerial bridge. Mo. On your mark, get set. All right. Exhilaration. If she can get up and over, and yes, she does. And breathing a sigh of relief right there was Speedy. Let's go to Mo and find out the official result. Martina's highest jump was 2.5 meters. Up next will be the roadrunner, Kostya. On your mark, get set. 2.5, he's going to have to jump that. Oh, and easily over. Arms raised in jubilation. He's tied, ladies, if that's official, Mo. It is official. Coaster cleared 2.5 meters. Let's see, 2.75. On your mark, get set. Oh, yeah, this little guy. Look at him. He's strong. Oh, and just with his right knee, he's flexing for the cameras. Mo. He will have one more chance at 2.75 meters, Mike. All right, looks like he'll have one more chance to take first place in this event. On your mark, get set. The tuck, the jump, the propulsion, and oh! Kostya, take a little seat on the bar right there. We'll go to Mo and get the official results. Mo! Kostya's best jump was 2.5 meters, so all of our players got first place. No need to apologize, because look at the roadrunner. This guy in mid-fine form. The roadrunner from 
Georgia. Not Georgia, the peach from the Commonwealth of Independent States. Victory for the man. He's sharing a little victory, though, Mo, isn't he? He is. All of our players have 300 points in first place. A three-way tie to start. Well, well, well. A tie. And the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. Her friends call this superstar Spaniard La Ardilla. But to us, she's the squirrel. Hey, Anna, the squirrel. Spill your guts. Hola, my name is Hi, my name is Anna Cordera, and I'm from Spain. My favorite sports are soccer, gymnastics, and dancing, but I like judo the best. Judo is going to help me in global guts because I'm accustomed to sparring against boys, and it will give me the strength to win this competition. After this, I'm training for the Junior Olympics. Well, how do you train a global army of guts athletes? Well, here at the Extreme Arena, we take them to our gym for a brand new basic training. First, our players will shoot down through the slingshot, and then they'll make a move out of that, power up over the pyramid. After jumping out of that, they will cruise up the cargo net, get to the top of the platform, and then set sail across that Tarzan rope. Then slip down the fire pole, fire up the wall climb, and then boom! into the landing pad right there. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, our players are timed from the starting line to landing pad impact. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. We got a three-way tie going into this event and the squirrel is up first. And the squirrel going nuts over Global Guts basic training. The squirrel is from the country of Spain. Came all the way to get down the basic train from Spain up the wall climb. She will set the pace. Oh, and slipping on the wall climb. But finishing the race, showing she's got global guts. Let's go to Mo and find out what the time was, Mo. Anna clocked in at 25.1 seconds. Up next will be Speedy. On your mark, get set. Speedy Martina from Germany. She is determined to win the Guts Gold. Up over the pyramid and up the cargo net. You see that net moves as our players try to climb it, and she's across the Tarzan rope. The time to beat, 25.1. Down the fire pole, she's got to have to hustle. Up the wall climb, no problem on the wall climb. Into the bag. So let's go to Mo and find out if that's official, Mo. Yes, Mike, Martina clocked in at 22.8 seconds. We'll see next what the Roadrunner can do. On your mark, get set. Well, the Roadrunner, toast ya. Toast, and you're toast in this event. You gotta sum up the most. You will boast for CIS's coast ya. The Roadrunner's really gonna have to pick up the pace. He's having a Sunday holiday on the cargo net and the Tarzan rope up here. He's really going to have to pick it up. He's got 2.8 seconds to get up the wall climb. Remember, folks, he's fighting now for second place points. And Kostya... Go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Kostya clocked in at 28.6 seconds, which puts Martina in first place, Anna in second place, and Kostya in third place. Germany, Speedy Martino wants the Global Guts gold in the Extreme Arena. And a good way to get it is to win basic training. In the landing pad, doing magnificent work. Let's go to Mo and check out where we stand now, Mo. Well, now Martina from Germany is in the lead with 600 points. In second place is Anna from Spain with 500 points. In third place is Kostya from the CIS with 400 points. Two events down, two more to go. That's right, folks. Don't skedaddle. We'll be using this battle and kicking some footballs when we come back. Stick around. Welcome back to Global Guts. Three players from three countries still battling out for the goal, but right now it's time to meet an athletic phenom who's chasing a dream for the German team. Hey, Speedy, spill your... Guts. Hello, my name is Martina Schiersch and I'm from Graz du Brod, Germany. In my free time, I play track and field and volleyball. A good athlete must train and fight hard. 
This is my step bear, Kristoff. I bring him with me everywhere because he brings me luck. I want everyone in the world to get along as well as we do here at Global Guts. Well, who's the best whitewater rafter in the world? We have set up some raging rapids to see which country's player can withstand the punishing punishment of our pounding pool. A lot of alliteration there. Let's go to Mo. Yes, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, our players will maneuver around the buoys and high-five the spotter to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first will be Anna. From Spain, the squirrel taken to the water, and you see the waves pounding our players into the corners. In this event, our players have to think about stamina, balance, and tight turns. They gotta make it around that buoy. If she doesn't make it around, she will have a penalty. And the clock, so she's gotta go back around that buoy and make the turn with her paddle. And you can see just how that those waves are pushing her around the pool. She'll come in with the touch, Mo. On the clock in at 37.9 seconds. That includes a five second penalty for missing the second buoy. So Speedy will get a chance to pad her lead. On your mark, get set. Okay, so she just spilled her guts and now she's getting wet in the pool. Speedy is in the lead by 200 points. She has 600 points in the lead going into this event. And you can see she's made a nice tight turn right straight across, diagonally across the pool. Now she'll make it back around the buoy. And if she can withstand the waves, trying to push that raft across, she's got about 15 seconds to buy here. But remember, there's still one more player to go. So she can see the spotter. She's going to have to hustle. She looked back up to the clock. She must touch the spotter. Those waves are keeping her back. She's going to have to reach for the touch, and she does. We'll see what the official time is for Mo. Martina clocked in at 35.7 seconds. What's up next will be Kostya. On your mark, get set. Kostya Kimlat. He'll be getting waterlogged in this one. Perfect opportunity for him to get right smack dab back into the middle of the game. 35.7, the time he needs to beat. He is in third place going into this event with 400 points, and he has about 15 seconds to touch the spotter. He's around the second buoy. He's just got to hold on and keep his balance. Victory with the touch. He's got to make the touch. Coach Jeff, you got to touch the guy. Get back there. Oh, oh, with the touch. Dig it in. Let's go to Mo. Kostya clocked in at 37.2 seconds, which puts Martina in first place, Kostya in second place, and Anna in third place. Getting up first in Whitewater was the Squirrel. That's right. The name of the game ain't easy street. It's called Whitewater, and those waves were preventing her from getting around that buoy. She got a plus five on that. The winner in this event, Speedy. Look at the reach, the touch in the water. 300 more beans. Let's check out the leaderboard. Mo. Well, Mike, Martina from Germany is still in the lead with 900 points and tied in second place with 600 points each. Anna from Spain and Kostya from the CIS. Well, great efforts from all our players in Whitewater. And now let's get to know this player who's at the crest of success in the CIS. Hey, Kostya, road runner, spill your guts. Hi, my name is Kostya Kimla, and I'm from the Global Guts from Georgia. My favorite sports are swimming, soccer, and basketball. The best part of basketball is slam dunks and winning. My biggest dream is to play basketball in the NBA. The best thing about coming here to Global Guts is meeting kids from other countries. But you're five goals behind. You got to catch up in a hurry, folks. It's blasted. 200 of these coming at you. You got to score the most you can in 60. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will have 60 seconds to try and score as many goals as possible. Players may not leave the center circle and may not touch the ball with their hands. The player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds is the winner. On your mark, get set. All right, so in our fourth event, before the crag, we'll see if the roadrunner can 
get together with the squirrel and knock the perfect score out from underneath Speedy's feet. 200 of these soccer balls, you call them soccer balls, you call them footballs, whatever you call them, you got to knock the most in in 60 seconds. And right there, you can see our players trying to handle the balls as they come down from the sky. Reaction time and control, the most important thing. The accuracy, getting it into the goal. And so utter chaos out there on the extreme arena floor. They still got a mountain to climb at the end of the day, but they got to score the most that they can. 13 seconds left. We have an individual judge for each player that is tallying up the score. They will then give the scores to Mo. Four seconds left. Time running out. The Roadrunner trying to get one in there. Let's go to Mo and find out the official results. Mo. In first place was Kostya scoring seven goals. In second place, Anna scoring six. In third place, Martina scoring five. His nickname is the Roadrunner. They should call him the Bandit. Watch him stealing this one right away from Anna. Kicking it in. You want to see guts and determination? This is one of the ones that won it for him. Booting it in to the goal. Magnificent work for Kostya right back in. It changes the whole outlook. And yesterday during practice, I had a little bit of time to talk to Speedy. Here's what she had to say. What's the best part about coming here so far? Ice cream, guts, and swimming pools. Ice cream? What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate? Yes. And are you like like sundaes, like shakes, like like big plates of ice cream? What's your favorite? I'm riesen close back. Big. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, check out the leaderboard now, Mo. Well, Mike Martina from Germany is still in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Kostya from the CIS with 900 points. In third place, Anna from Spain with 800 points. Well, no more time to play with your feet. We got a mountain to climb. The crack. Look at that thing. It's coming. Global Guts because we got the crag coming up and it's anybody's ball game. The crag, the points have gone through the roof. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo and see where we stand, Mo. Mike, after four events, Martina from Germany is in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Kostya from the CIS with 900 points. In third place is Anna from Spain with 800 points. That's where they stand. Here's how they got there. Over the top, first went Anna tucking over. She set the pace. Then Speedy went next. She got over. Then Kostya went. They all shared three bills on that one. We go into basic training. Kostya climbing the cargo net and like Tarzan, screaming across the rope. But he took third place in basic training because Speedy was the fastest into the landing pad with fine form. She took 300 on that. Kostya, he had a chance to win right here. But in white water, the pounding wave stopped him from getting in. With the reach, he wasn't fast enough because it was again speedy with the fastest time with the reach. And in to a little blasted, blasted to 300 points. Right there was the road runner, Kostya, getting right back into it. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition has been hot so far. It's about to get even hotter because right now we're at the super aggro crag. First it was the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag. Now it's the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and newer surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak and all the while our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow you want rules i'll give you mo mo players will start at the sound of my whistle each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress now during their climb players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag the first player to activate all of the targets, including the final
final one at the peak of the mountain will take first place points, Mike. No time to waste. The Guts Gold is on the line. Let's get it started. Mo! On your mark. Get set. And with that whistle, our players are going to try to create the finest climb they ever have. That's the mayhem of the mountain. The snow. Super aggro crag with the venomous vapors telling our players to vamoose. Get out of that section and get up the crag. Switch back band. This is what our players had to get through next, but when they get to the ice wall, you saw at the lead, speedy at the top, locking in first place points. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings, Mo. Here it is, Mike, in third place today, Anna from Spain with 1,175 points. In second place, Kostya from the CIS with 1,450 points. Our winner today with 1,725 points, Martina from Germany. And so, the bronze medal will go to Anna all the way from Spain. She will take back Proudly, a bronze medal that she has earned here at Global Guts. The silver medal will go to Kostya. Playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States, this young man, a very charismatic performer. And what an athlete. And you are hearing the German national anthem. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Martina Speedy. She conquered. She's number one. All three of our players during a world-class competition, hugging their coaches and getting their country's flag so they can take a well-deserved trip around the extreme arena track. Listen to this arena roar. sports show that makes our players sweat. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. 